kita down to talk Eish, kita down to talk not that any of us are flying much these days, but airplanes aren't the only time we can be without the internet. What happens if the Wi-Fi goes out? Or maybe you're like me and always space on your phone bill due date and get your data shut off for a few days almost every month. Well, fear not. Today, I bring you tidings in the form of 15 mobile games that you do not need the internet for. Hey guys, this is Sam from Down to Top, and before we dive into these awesome and accessible titles for this month, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that little bell icon to get notified of all our new videos. We release new ones every single week. Oh, and if you like this video, make sure you tell YouTube's algorithm by hitting the thumbs up button down below. Alright, let's get down to business with number 15, Fugal. Fugal is an open-world meditative bird flying game where you'll fly across procedurally generated voxel terrains that try to nail the wondrous feeling of flight, using dual-stick virtual controls to glide around and even attempt some flying stunts. It sounds very easy and relaxing, but you will also have to avoid projectiles and other flying creatures who are coming at you, so it's not without some excitement. In the game, your body will change according to the nearby animal, so you can enjoy all types of experience in the game. Overall, it's a great exploration game which is yet only available in beta mode. Number 14, Knights of Riddle. Knights of Riddle seems to follow along the same lines as Zelda or Final Fantasy, bringing back the classic hack and slash style gameplay alongside colorful graphics and fanciful music. There are quests and puzzles as well as battles and storylines to experience. Also, the game features simple controls which are easily understandable. Knights of Riddle prides itself on being a gimmick-free experience, meaning there are no in-app purchases or invasive adverts. Overall, Knights of Riddle is a game worth playing for anyone. There are many surprises for you, especially the game's low size which makes it even more impressive. Number 13, Cat Killer. An action-adventure game where you play a rabbit who is wandering through a colorful, cell-shaded world filled with crystals to smash and cats to bash. For some reason, our rabbit hero has got some kind of blood feud with the felines and sets about dispatching them with nothing but a sword and the ability to shoot plasma balls. Also, the game features a dynamic yet simple combat system where your finger movements give life to your character. Overall, the game has cute graphics and great controls. Number 12. Dungeon Shooter – The Forgotten Temple This is a fun FPS indie which has some features of RPG games. Dungeon Shooter lets you explore a dungeon-like temple which is infected with monsters and strange creatures. Your objective is simple – shoot them all. As you move forward, you will level up and collect equipment with many perks and utilities to help you throughout the game. The game is rich in content and has multiple game elements including pets, artifacts, runes and guns. Their reasonable combination will make the battle fun and diverse. Number 11. Blackmore 2 2D arcade games were once very popular on the console, the kind where you control the character moving horizontally across the screen, moving from left to right while defeating enemies. Well, Blackmore 2 is a perfect combination of old and new with a compelling storyline. It is an interesting arcade game of four fats. It is the next version of Blackmore 1, Quest Dunbury. Overall, Blackmore 2 is a game worth playing for anybody. There are many surprises for you. The enemies are strong and wise, so you have to find some good tactics to face the powerful bosses. Number 10. 3, 2, 1, Shootout A fast-paced first-person shooting game where you will immerse yourself in thrilling and intense shootouts. You have to fight off hordes of intelligent enemies and destroy them all. The game features variety of weaponry in a game like pistols, shotguns, SMG, machine gun, and more. The biggest point of the game is that you don't have to buy any single gun. All the guns are mounted on the wall, so just go and exchange your favorite gun during the battle. The game has different types of the location where you will fight with your enemies. Overall, it's a decent game for those who are fans of offline FPS games. Number 9. Go Rally
Input Wish released a brand new version of Go Rally that makes it work flawlessly on iOS once again. The most notable thing about this release is the support for wider screen devices. Otherwise, it's basically the exact same game, which is fine. In Go Rally, you control a rally car from a top-down perspective as you fly down the streets, skid over gravel, or even slide over ice. The whole game is about going fast, of course, but a lot of keeping your time low revolves around knowing and adjusting. Number 8. TDZ3 Dark Way an action-adventure game with elements of horror and RPG that takes place in the zone of alienation. The game has a linear storyline, meaning that no matter what you do, it will not affect the game plot. In the story, the main character goes into this mysterious and dangerous place to find expensive artifacts to sell, the money he wants to spend on treatment of his seriously ill son. While traveling through the area, your character will meet other people who are also wishing to find some unique pieces to steal, as well as many monsters with which to fight with using a wide arsenal of firearms. Number 7. Tides – A Fishing Game This is a simulation game where you will go on a fishing adventure in an open-world environment and drive your boat across various expedition destinations for discovering and collecting a plethora of beautiful fish. The game features over 50 types of fish which you can catch on different maps. Also, you can upgrade your boat and hire an assistant who regularly generates income for you in the game. Overall, the game has clean and colorful visuals that look really relaxing. Number 6. Epic Conquest 2 If you're a fan of role-playing games, then you must give Epic Conquest 2 a try. It's a classic single-player anime action-adventure RPG with a special touch in the combat and story which makes it stand out among others in the genre. You will explore an open world of great dimensions that has quality graphics reminiscent of an anime film and simple handling that benefits the gameplay. And on top of all of this, it actually has an interesting plot too, making it an attractive role-playing game. Number 5. A Strange Place A Strange Place is a first-person POV horror game where you are to solve a series of puzzles and use stealth in order to escape the house. When you start off the game, all you really know is that you have been locked in and imprisoned by a one-eyed monster. He hears every noise you make and you must be careful not to drop anything. Once he hears you, he'll run to where you are, sneak up behind you, and kill you like Granny. The controls and graphics are quite nice and everything played fine. We didn't find it overly scary, but the atmosphere is creepy and it's a fun play overall. <coughs> Number 4. Reset Earth I don't know for sure, but I think this machine can tell us why. I'm using it again. United Nations Environment Program has launched the Reset Earth with an important message. It is set in the year 2084 when the world has become a dystopian post-apocalyptic place where a virus has reduced life expectancy to less than 30 years. Sounds pretty scary, eh? However, there is a very tiny sliver of hope. In addition, Reset Earth features hand-drawn and retro graphics and there are four gameplay stages, each of which takes players back to key moments in history. The game is also full of messages trying to tell players about the importance of protecting our environment and the ozone layer. Number 3. Suicide Guys Although the title is Suicide Guy, the game isn't about suicide, depression, or anything like that. Let's wake up the fat guy in the endless nightmare. Suicide Guy is based on the movie Inception, so you might find it a bit confusing with the dream loops. However, unlike Inception, if you die in a dream in this game, you are trapped in limbo and it is very difficult to get out. If you fall into a dream, you'll wake up, right? In Suicide Guy, you need to do everything you can to help the character commit suicide in his dreams. Possessing a highly interactive puzzle game, this drunk man's adventures seem simple but require the player to have keen observation and thinking abilities. Number 2. Titan Quest Legendary Edition This is an action role-playing game set in the pre-Roman ancient world where you take control of an avatar and navigate through an overhead third-person view. Also, you get to choose the gender and other character customization options. 
Titan Quest combines a fascinating world of mythology with endless and exciting activities that you would expect from such a compelling game. The game has covered all the DLC, including Immortal Throne, Ragnarok, and Atlantis. Overall, it's a great game, and I highly recommend trying it out. And finally at number 1, SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated. Who lives in a pineapple under the sea? Well, this action-adventure game sure does. It's a platformer game that hit console and PC back in 2020, but now is also available for mobile devices. Naturally, this game is based on the Nickelodeon animated series SpongeBob SquarePants. The game itself is a remake of the 2003 release SpongeBob SquarePants Battle for Bikini Bottom with enhanced visuals and the addition of previously cut content and more. The core gameplay involves collecting items and defeating the robots which have attacked Bikini Bottom, and also you have to avoid environmental hazards like spikes and flames. And if you're a big fan of SpongeBob, then you will love the storyline in this one, so definitely go and give this game a try. So there we have it, 15 offline games to keep handy just in case. I'm Sam from Down to Top, and it's been a pleasure. Like usual, I keep you up to date on the best MOBO games as they are released, so be sure to subscribe for more awesome content. Peace!